Hi guys and girls, this is NovaCookie232 and welcome to another part of the, of Agrarian Skies. So, from previous previous part I showed you how the crucible worked. Um, I've, um, since then I've cut down a bunch of trees, composted a bunch of things, got dirt, I've just got some more dirt here as well that I haven't composted, that I haven't moved down the stones because I don't think we need to just yet. Because I worked out what one did, that was 250 millibuckets, so that means that I needed three more, because 250 times four is 1,000, which, yeah, so it looks like it's getting there. Um, so, what we'll do, what is, um, once this is, once this is um, all done, all good, what we want to do is, we want to get our buckets. Our clay bucket here. We can prepare an area for it. So, so I was thinking because we have basically we don't have. So wait a second. I'll, I'll make the, I'll make some tools first. I don't actually have a pickaxe yet. Tool rod. Got the bindings. Got the wooden bindings there. Um, part builder. Um, um, okay, so there we go. There is the bone pickaxe handle, and then we want to make a normal stick handle. There we go. Oh, God. Nope, not having that. Where are you spawning? I really would like to know that. Anyway, uh, so we need to build a pickaxe. And that is a head, bindings, and a rod. And that it is a bone pickaxe. That's all we need to make. Bone pickaxe. Mine speed four. So what we want to do is we want to take I want to take some of this. If we need need some of this. Um and fill it in back, fill it back in with, in with wood dough because I don't want us uh, falling through. And I want to empty out my inventory as well because I don't need half these things. Stone dirt, silkworms, arrows, all these patterns, charcoal, meat, this, need that, don't need that. Don't need that at the moment. Yeah. I'll take some wood anyway. Um. And also, I got my juicer back because of uh, some of the cobblestone. I used some of the cobblestone for that juicer, which was very useful, as you can see. Getting all these um, this juice very useful for me. Um. So I was going to use this. We want to. What we want to make is well, very very simple. We want to make a cobblestone generator. So of course to do that, if any if any of you know, we need to probably make another area for it. Let's turn this all into wood. There we go. Just make a little area here, or at least extend this area, because we need some room for the lava, the cobblestone generator. For those of you who don't know what a cobblestone generator is, it generates cobblestone, but it's exploits Minecraft basically. 
But if it is the way Minecraft, you know you can get cobblestone. And why not? There's ways around it. It's been fixed in mods, but I mean, you wouldn't really know how to, way to start in Minecraft. If you didn't have this a cobblestone generator, really. Anyway, so we what we want to do is we want to build a thing. So one thing will go there. Sorry for this. I'm going to need to use more of this. Oh god no. That's bad. Cover you up. That's bad too. So you never <laughs> do what I just done. So we have I actually need more stone because I can't use wood for obvious reasons. Use this. We got enough. Cause the water's fine. The water part's fine. Cause that's where the that's where the lava will go. That's where the cobblestone generating part will go. Um. So the water part can be out of wood for now. Doesn't really matter. I could just make it completely out of half stone. Cause that that wouldn't that wouldn't count as wood in a weird way. I oh, know. So what I wanna do is break a bit here. This way we basically lava flows, hits the water, forms cobblestone right here, and yeah, so this should form lava, so that's one bucket of lava. Before we put the bucket of lava, we want to transport the bucket of water, have a little way of getting up here, preferably we want a little way in here, so we should be able to turn that into stone. So now this should work. This will destroy. Um, um, okay, there we go. So this will generate lava, or cobblestone, sorry. As you can see. Much more efficient. Much more efficient, I mean, I've got more cobblestone than I ever have, really. Since this. So we've got a cobblestone generator now. This means we can get much more uh, metals and other materials which can make automated machines and stuff. So I guess the next thing now, since we have got cobblestone which we can get more lava now, we need to make we need to make um probably um smeltery um other stuff Yes, other stuff. Well, Got 25 here. Let's get one more for evens. Oh. Okay. Yeah, of course you're not going to take. He's not going to get everything, but it doesn't matter because you're getting free cobblestone basically. So I'm just going to put enough in there. Um. Anyway, there's a skeleton over there. Anyway. Um. Let's go around. Let's all go around. We can now, since we are not using rather right that dirt, we can just use that on more trees over one way along. There we go. 
put down the other tree. Why not? Put down two of the other trees. There we can. That's a lava generator. That's making more lava. So let's look in the quest book. We can now take a gander in the quest book and be a little bit more um, prepared for the quests that you know we now should now we'll be able to take. Let's see. No more? Okay. Yeah, I was playing around with some of the quests, like I got the repeated quest to complete that, but reset, so I have I can't complete it again until a day one day and six hours, which is one Minecraft day and one and six hours. Uh so what we want to do? I'm smelting, I'm smelting, let's do that. Then a task where the player needs to specific specific items, these do not have to be hand in, having them in one's inventory is enough. So we need to make a seared tank, smeltery controller, smeltery drain, smelt seared faucet, faucet, casting table, and seared bricks. One. So and then we get all these things. We get peach sap and we get peach sap and slime sap thing. Lord bag of full heart. So, what is definitely most very useful is smeltery. Smeltery is, it makes um, collecting all a lot more efficient. You get twice the amount most of the time, and it's just generally looks cooler. Smeltery from Tinker's construction block. Materials and me is block. Have you learned about how? Two other books in this series, blah blah blah. So we need to make a seared tank, smeltery controller. So let's make a seared tank and smeltery controller first. Let's make a smeltery controller first, considering um, that is a controller. Smeltery. Um, smeltery controller. Which is seared brick. Seared brick is grout, smelted grout. Um, and that is clay, sand, and gravel. Well, you can get those things pretty easy. So, where have we got some a hammer? Doesn't actually matter, we can just make another one. And we can make a stone one this time. And we've got some stone to use. Let's make a stone hammer. So we want to um, smash some of this up into sand, some of this up into gravel. So let's say smash to make a controller we need to eight. So we need to make have eight of each. Let's just say eight of each. Which is easier. Seven eight. So we need to have sixteen gravel overall. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. I, I didn't. I lost count. Two, three, four, five. Oh, I was correct. Damn it. That's unusual. Now we just need to turn some of this gravel into sand. So, and. And one, two. There we go. So we got eight gravel, eight sand, and now we need to get eight clay. We've got only got six clay currently. If you remember um, how to get clay, you can just get one more piece of stone, and then turn that one piece of sand into dust. And then use that one piece of dust on this to make clay. There we go, so we've got enough now. We have now made 16 grout. We don't need grout on its own most of the time, or at all. I haven't really used, seen the recipe being used at all on its own. So, let's put charcoal in there. That's good smelt and seared bricks. Um, in the meantime, we should probably, um, well, let's see, let's, let's see, yo, 
die. Um, I've looked that area up a little bit, it's quite dangerous. Um, yes, that's fine. So in the meantime, just, just um, let's break a lot of cobblestone because and eventually we're going to be using this for collecting materials such as ores. Now, I do realise we meet a we meet a barrier soon after we reach this stage. In fact, actually, this barrier is the fact that we need to do a lot of this. And just like previously with the trees, we need to do a lot of this. Granted, that this is, seems slightly less less um, intricate intricate than cutting down trees which is more repetitive so if I do reply guys I'll ask you do you want me to include some of this stuff if it does get really heavy like I'll have to get stacks and stacks and stacks of cobblestone or do you want me just to not include it tell me and yeah that way I'll, I'll, I'll do I'll do stuff in spare time or I'll just do it in episode if you want me to either way it's fine don't mind at all I just do some of the stuff out of the park because it does get boring, like tree cutting down trees, doing again and again and again. I can't think of stuff to say, and I think it's quite boring watching somebody cut down trees, like 10, tw 10 trees per 10 minutes, and it's like, it's boring. So we've got 42. As you can see, we've got way more than we ever had. Of course we have um, dirt still be a thing, but we can get that, that is fine. If we can get get this a lot of materials we can go straight into automating, you know, dirt creation which is very useful. But we need to move power, that would be quite an obstacle. But I like these kind of obstacles because it's quite big, quite long winded, and when you get to it, it's quite rewarding. Okay, so we can make a smeltery controller. That's one. Next, we need to make um, a seared tank. Right, uh, smeltery drain. Let's make a smeltery drain because I, I think I know how to make that. Smeltery drain. Um, seared faucet. No, I don't know how to make that. Casting table and seed bricks. Well, I need now to make some of the things. Let's just uh, half that and use all of this. All of this. Um, breaking down into grout. We need more water, but we can just get another clay bucket, hopefully, if we've got enough clay. I'd be really unfortunate if we haven't got enough clay. Really hope we've got enough clay because uh, oh, the process of getting clay again, I have to wait. No, I won't actually got water. But again, I've got water here, it's fine. Ooh, one less. Luckily. Twenty gravel. Let's just put one more in, because because we want to maximise that. So we have ten each. And then we want to have one more of whatever it is, which is dust. And then turn this into dust. Break this and break this. Get some clay. Make buckets. And five clay buckets. Fire that clay bucket. What? Ah, oh, I'm just gonna. Hmm. Lock this area off. They cannot get to me. 
Oh god, that's annoying. I don't pay attention, it's like creeper! Five clay buckets. Just put that in there. So we've got a constant supply of clay now we can use. Um, so we want to turn 20 gravel into sand and that'll be all we need for that but we also need to find essentially 10 more pieces which big ass tree that just grew in front of my eyes oh god well I think you're going to be very fast because I think I'm gonna. You're laggy. Restrict. I've never restricted the growing of these things. Willowwood. Oh god, well. Really nice colour trees. Um. Yeah, really nice colour leaves, sorry. What time is it? What time is it? It's probably over. It is over. It's over. God. You get the point, I think. Um. Grow, stuff grows. Go in an infinite cycle. Go right, over and over again. Yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed. We we'll do more of that late, uh, late next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see everybody later. Bye.